Hello, I am walking on the road from Borali Station to my home. So these are the issues where I am just reaching the National Highway which leads to Gujarat and I am just near to that and there is a metro line going here that is not visible because of the uh, because of the darkness okay so you can see a lot of rush in this area uh, rush is a common factor in investing in mumbai mumbai is full of rush especially in the evening and in the morning going to and coming from office so this kind of press you may not be able to see in a lot of metros but visible in especially in indian metros just like bombay kolkata then madras delhi this kind of metros you can see this kind of press people are running from one place to another, either by walk or by vehicle. But in the way people drive is totally unacceptable in so many cases. But what to do? We have to live with this. That's the fate of Mumbai's or Mumbai Walas. In uh, Hindi, if you say, it's Mumbai Walas. Okay? Now I am just reaching the gate of Sanjay Gandhi National Park and the opposite you can see the gate of Sanjay Gandhi National Park I have to move from there to the left the park is closed now park will be open tomorrow at 5 o'clock and uh, we will go for a morning walk in the park including me so best place for a walk because there is no pollution inside now it is December and a uh, little bit of cold is there cool atmosphere so it's very nice to walk at this time so see how the buses are coming how the bikes are coming they are not concerned about the people and people are not concerned about the vehicles it's both ways. People are more concerned about their walking. They will show a stopping hand and the vehicle has to stop. That's it. There is no proper uh, crossing places and nobody adhere to the rules. If there is a crossing uh, place also, just like zebra lines or anything, people will never uh, adhere to the rules here. So that has become a habit. So once habit is formed, it's very difficult to change it. So, that's Mumbai. For Mumbai. When I came to Mumbai in 1996, it was Bombay. And later, it is renamed as Mumbai. For 
present as Mumbai because the locals or the Maharashtrians feel that Bombay is an English word which has been given by the Britishers and now they want to have their own name with their, which depicts their culture and uh, language. That's the reason it was changed to Mumbai from Bombay. But the elegance of Bombay is not there when you speak Mumbai. Okay, maybe over a period of time it will change. That's what I hope. So that because I am from an older generation, that's the reason I feel like that. Maybe new people or new generation may feel otherwise. Now we are crossing a river which has there's a bridge which has been broken and you can see the crowd here. The bridge is broken and uh, the construction is going on. But nobody knows when it is going to finish. It is like that. So I am also crossing that small bridge which is very narrow. People can walk only to one side. There is no space for two lights. The people who are going to the left, they have got one line and right, they have got another line. You can see a big pipe here. This carries water of the for the mobile people. And this area is called Sandiwal. Okay. Uh, but I don't know what is the today it's I think crowd is a little bit more. I thought of walking because the bus queue for the bus was very long. I thought instead of getting into the bus it is better to walk. So that I can reach my home very early, maybe in 30 minutes. And I am I will reach normally by 30 minutes. So if I get into a bus it may be more than 20 minutes, maybe half an hour or maybe more than that. Because of the traffic on the roads and the rush. I think a good experience here. People should enjoy it. You can see a lot of lights here. Some marriage or something like that. I think somebody is getting married in the near the building. So that this lighting arrangement is there. And here there is an exhibition left side. You can see the exhibition. People are going to see the exhibition. Okay, this is the exhibition hall. So I'm just walking. Okay. From here maybe I'm gonna 10 minutes to my home. And this area is called Shanti 1. Shanti 1. And you can see people standing in queue for purchasing liquor. Here the liquor is freely available to anybody. Anybody means people above 18 years old. That's the rule. So things are going on a good way or good manner. People are going for food near by restaurant. You can see flower vases in front of me, which is normally given for marriage or maybe some functions to felicitate somebody. It's like that. Now, you can see a shop which has got all kinds of kids play materials and another flower shop and the ice cream shop where people are taking ice cream in the jewelry shop and this is a nice place because I love this place I don't want to go from here because any way my native this is now 50% of the facilities I enjoy here so I never wanted to go back 
for a permanent settlement. So I have settled in Mumbai because of these reasons. So I think they already look so their comforts. So I also I am also running after good comfort for comforts. That's why I don't want to move to my native where there are a lot of power cuts. There are a lot of inconvenience in getting necessary items. Here it is everything is on the road. You, you, I have shown you the street vendors. They sell everything on the road. It is in the evening. There is heavy rush, which you have already seen. Now I am walking through Chandivan Road to my home. You can see on the right side there are a lot of shops. Okay. So these shops, there are some big shops, small shops. 